next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Makachev. And now introducing the champion, Fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your phone. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges.
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, nice elbow. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. And there comes the separation now. Takedown defense holds up. Unable to land with that punch. lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just blowing. Getting tighter. set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack. Oh! He's gonna turn on the elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. And new! Well, he came in a competent number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him. That is the new UFC welterweight champion.